on, we are going to start off this super special week with a book called Finders Keepers for Franklin. Finders Keepers for Franklin, written by Paulette Bourgeois, illustrated by Brenda Clark. Copyright 1997 by Paulette Bourgeois Illustrations. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He was good at seeing things that others missed. Once Franklin found a lucky four-leaf clover. Another time he found his mother's keys she had lost. But one day, Franklin found something special. Franklin was walking to the park when he spotted a flash of blue. Something was lying on the side of the path. Oh, said Franklin, picking it up, a camera. He never found something quite so wonderful before. Franklin looked through the viewfinder. He imagined he was a photographer, just like Grandma, who took last summer's pictures. Say cheese, he said. Franklin pretended to click the clicker. Then he noticed that somebody had already taken one picture. As soon as Franklin got to the park, he showed the camera to his friends. <gasps> wow, said Moose. Is that yours? Not exactly, said Franklin. I found it. Beaver shrugged. Finders keepers, she said. Well, I looked, but there's no name on the camera, said Franklin. Then it's yours, insisted Beaver. It's not like stealing, said Moose. You found it. Still, Franklin knew he wasn't allowed to keep things that didn't belong to him. He decided to find the owner later. Just then, Beaver made a funny face. That's good, said Franklin, and he snapped a picture. Me too, me too, cried Moose and Rabbit. Before he knew it, Franklin had used the rest of the film. Franklin took the film out of the camera and put it into his marble bag. I'll have to get more film, he said. Are you keeping the camera? asked Moose. Franklin looked surprised. Whoops, I almost forgot that it isn't mine, said Franklin. I better find out who lost it. Maybe the owner will be mad because he used the camera, Beaver said. Franklin gulped. Mm, I didn't think of that. Now Franklin wasn't sure what to do. He didn't like it when someone was angry with him. Franklin thought for a while. After his friends left, he put the camera back where he found it. That's better, he sighed. Now nobody will be mad at me. Franklin went home and ate a nice supper. After supper, Franklin's father wanted to play marbles. When Franklin opened his marble bag, the film rolled out. What's that? Franklin's father asked. Um, said Franklin. His father waited patiently. Finally, Franklin blurted out the whole story. Finding the camera, using it, then putting the camera back. So you used something that didn't belong to you? Asked his father. Well, not on purpose, answered Franklin. It just sort of happened. What do you think should happen now, said his father. Franklin thought and thought. Maybe we could get the camera and try to find the owner, he said finally. So Franklin and his father got the camera, made signs, and posted them around the park. They waited a week, but nobody claimed the camera. Then they went to the police station and told the officers they had found a camera. Still, nobody claimed it. Franklin took the film to be developed. He bought a new roll of film with his allowance and popped it into the camera. The next day, the pictures were ready. Franklin held up a photo of Raccoon's family. I know who owns the camera, he shouted. Raccoon must have taken the picture just before he lost the camera, and he's been away, so he didn't see our signs. Franklin returned the camera to Raccoon and apologized for using his film. Raccoon wasn't mad at all. He was so happy to have his camera back that he shared his snack with Franklin. Cheese, said Franklin, smiling, and Raccoon snapped a picture. Hi, guys. We hope you enjoyed the book. We have something really exciting we would like to share with you guys. We wanted to start a two-book Tuesday. And that will start tomorrow, November 6th, and continue for the first Tuesday of every month, for the next couple months at least. We don't really know if it will work with our schedules just yet, but we will try for the next couple of months and see if it works out and let you guys know. So you will be hearing from us again tomorrow morning. Bye, guys.